Hello, I am uh, Shweta Agarwal at IIT Madras. I work in the area of cryptography. I am here to tell you about this course we are offering uh, called Quantum Algorithms and Cryptography. So, what is this course about? Uh, as you know, the uh, you know the advent of quantum algorithms and quantum computers has really revolutionized uh, computer science, and in many different aspects, right? So, quantum algorithms are are amazing. They're very uh, they're more powerful than classical algorithms, and we're still exploring how powerful these algorithms can be and it's it's also been devastating so because uh, quantum algorithms can uh, break modern day cryptography based on number theoretic problems like uh, rsa and discrete log so how do quantum algorithms interact uh, with cryptography that is what this course will be about at a very very high level so we'll uh, start by looking at the foundations of quantum information no uh, prerequisites about quantum physics or anything will be assumed. The course will be self-contained. So, we will study the mathematical model for quantum computation. Uh, then we will see how, how quantum algorithms uh, can outperform classical algorithms in some settings. So, we will see a few different interesting algorithms uh, of this nature. This will culminate with uh, you know the famous algorithms uh, by Grover and Shore. In particular, Shor's algorithm is responsible for breaking the, the uh, mathematical assumptions underlying a, a lot of uh, cryptography. So, we will uh, we'll study that. Uh, we will also study how to recover from these attacks. So, previously what we would have seen is you know uh, we will see the, the hard problems of RSA and discrete log uh, Diffie-Hellman. We will see how to build cryptography from that. And then once we have understood how Shor's algorithm breaks those systems, we will now take a step back and see are there problems for which even quantum algorithms offer uh, no known advantage, right. So, it turns out fortunately for us that there are, right. And uh, we will study problems in particular uh, problems in high dimensional lattices for which quantum algorithms also uh, do not offer any advantage so far as we know. So, we will see how to build uh, cryptography based on the hardness of these problems. Okay? So, these, uh, this will lead to cryptography that hopefully can withstand even the amazing power of uh, quantum computers. Then uh, we will turn our attention to whether quantum computers can also help us in building cryptography. So, we will look at a few topics in quantum uh, cryptography. In particular, we will see whether you know the cool properties of quantum computation such as the no cloning theorem, do they help us to get uh, you know uh, cryptographic primitives uh, that offer security properties or new functionalities that we did not know how to get before. So, we will see a little bit of that and overall my hope from this course is that uh, you know seeing it from this uh, rounded perspective like a little bit of all these uh, topics juxtaposed together I hope will help us develop an insight into you know this, uh, this delicate balance between structure and hardness that the field of cryptography must, must always uh, uh, try to satisfy. So, it is a tightrope that you know we must always walk on you know uh, between structure and hardness and uh, the advent of quantum computers really offers a completely new and, and rich perspective on this balance between structure and hardness. So, I hope that you know seeing uh, quantum algorithms, seeing classical cryptography how quantum algorithms break classical cryptography, how classical cryptography can recover from those attacks and then finally how quantum computers can help us to build uh, ever more secure and cool cryptography. My hope is that by seeing these topics together, we will develop an insight into you know this, this balance uh, between structure and hardness in the quantum era. And uh, this course will be uh, a little bit of everything. I mean, each of these topics is uh, deep enough to, uh, you know, to be studied not just in one but multiple courses each. So obviously, we will not be able to go into great depth for uh, uh, any of these topics. But uh, I hope that it will uh, uh, 
you know, whet your appetite for more and you will uh, feel inspired to sort of uh, probe deeper into any one of these uh, amazing areas of research. Coming to um, prerequisites, so the course is self-contained. Uh, you do need to have some background in algorithms and complexity. But uh, these are covered by uh, standard undergraduate courses in algorithms and uh, theory of computation. Even in theory of computation, you do not really need uh, the entire uh, treatment uh, of it. But you should understand a little bit about complexity classes like P and P and, and so on. You should be familiar most importantly with the idea of reduction. So, how we reduce you know one problem to another. And if you have a little bit of knowledge about cryptography, that will again be helpful. But uh, once again, it is not something that is uh, strictly required. So in the course, we will uh, primarily focus on the application of encryption. This is, uh, you know, one of the considered one of the most basic things you could do in cryptography. But yet, in my opinion, uh, after a decade of research in, in this area, I feel this is one of the, uh, you know, the it, it's still something that I don't feel I, I fully understand. Okay, so it's it's very deep, and uh, we will use encryption, this most basic yet uh, so deep example of cryptography, as as our running example throughout the course, and uh, we'll examine it from all these different perspectives, as I told you. So encryption in the classical regime, then you know how quantum computers will break that then encryption in the post quantum regime and then encryption in the you know using quantum regime using quantum to to get uh, encryption rather than break it and uh, together i hope that uh, you know this will offer us uh, a perspective into quantum algorithms and cryptography that will help us go deeper into this area thank you very much